Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm with the gorgeous Margot and I'm going to show you how to get this beautiful and really easy to do red lip teamed with a purple liner. This look was created for the Marie Claire Image Maker Awards in LA. So I started by prepping the skin with Bioderma Micellar Water and a cotton pad. I'm just removing the oil from the eyelids and any leftover makeup residue. So next I'm going to spray Margot's face with MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus Spray and it's going to help with hydration. And to follow I'm going to massage La Mer's Moisturizing Soft Cream into Margot's skin. It's going to create such a beautiful, well hydrated base for the makeup. It's always really nice to take the time to massage your client or your model when you're doing a makeup. It really relaxes them and it's also great for the skin and preparation for the foundation. So I'm massaging MAC Cosmetics face and body foundation in the shade C2. And what I've done is I've warmed it up into the palm of my hands before pressing into Margot's skin. Next I'm going to conceal using NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I'm just lightly buffing that in under the eye area with a MAC Cosmetics 217 makeup brush. And you can see already with just a couple of products how beautiful and fresh and natural the skin can look. So now I'm going to do a bit of shading using MAC Cosmetics Pro Conceal Palette in the shade Medium Deep. And so what I'm doing with a MAC Cosmetics Duo Fiber Brush is just shading in under Margot's cheekbones. Then I'm going to pop a little bit onto her temples and on her jawline. And it's going to give a little bit more dimension to Margot's face and really shape the cheekbones for the red carpet. So next I'm going to do some highlighting and I've chosen to use Glossier's Halo Scope Highlighter in the shade Quartz. I'm simply tapping this product on with a MAC Cosmetics Duo Fiber Brush, focusing on the tops of the cheekbones and then the center of the nodes and a little bit on the cupid's bow. So now I'm just going to tidy up the brows just a little bit because Margaret's got amazing full brows and I've started by using a spoolie just to brush them up and then I'm coming in with MAC Cosmetics Eyebrows in Strut and just filling in the ends a little bit. Next I'm going to use MAC Cosmetics Eyebrow Gel in the shade Clear and I'm just going to set the brows in place. So next it's time to start on the eyes and I'm curling the lashes with my Chanel Lash Curler. And then the hero product for the eyes is the NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Bourbon Street, which is a beautiful purple tone. So I'm focusing on the upper lash line and I'm starting on the outer lash and working my way inward. And this is a smudgy crayon, so you can do either a really graphic line or you can get a brush and smudge it out. Today we're just going to do a nice sharp graphic liner. We're also going to pull out the wing and make sure that Margot's eyes look elongated. If you ever make a mistake with eyeliner, don't get too worried. Just use my cellar water and a cotton tip and you can really run that under the liner and sharpen up the edge. So I want beautiful bold lashes on the red carpet. So I've chosen to use MAC Cosmetics Hot and Naughty Mascara. And as always, I'm applying it with my fan brush and focusing on pulling the lashes upwards with a beautiful curl. And really focus on the lower lash line also because we really want to open up the eyes. I have to say MAC Cosmetics Hot and Naughty Mascara is probably in my all-time top 5 favourite mascaras. I'm just giving you a closer look at that liner. It's a really simple eye. It doesn't need too much at all. So now we're going to bronze up the skin and I've chosen to use Tom Ford's bronzing powder in the shade Terra. And I'm applying this with my NARS Pro makeup brush which is really soft and fluffy. I'm going to make sure those edges are nice and blended out. And make sure you always hit wherever the sun would hit when you're using bronzer. So a little bit on the nose, a little bit on the chin and just want a nice golden finish. So I'm going to set under the eyes using Laura Messier's Secret Brightening Powder. I'm just applying that with a fluffy brush. I can't remember which brand this brush is. It's just really gentle in that area. And now to finish the look, we're going to use Tom Ford's Cherry Lash Lipstick. But first we're going to line the lips using Charlotte Tilbury's Kiss and Tell Lip Liner, which is a really classic red shade. 
I always like to use a liner, especially for red carpet, as it just makes the lipstick last a little bit longer, as well as keeping a really sharp lip line. So I'm applying this lipstick with a Marc Jacobs makeup brush. Anything with a really straight edge is also helpful when you're doing a red lip because it just makes you get a really sharp line. Always focus on the centre lower lip. Make sure that's really crisp and straight. I must say Tom Ford lipsticks are so beautiful. They're super creamy and they do last a really long time. Um, so if you want to invest in one, a couple of my favourites are Spanish Pink and my other favourite is probably Scarlet Rouge, which is another great red. And here's the finished lip. It's a beautiful classic blue undertone red lip. It's a shade that I think most women could actually wear. So to finish, we're going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I'm just applying that with a MAC Cosmetics brush. And I really just want to knock off the shine in the T-zone. So for red carpet, we don't want any shine under the eyes, on the chin, or in the forehead. And I want a little bit of extra glow, so I'm using the golden tone on the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. This is just so pretty on the red carpet as well. It always hits the light when photographed. I highly recommend this product. I'm absolutely obsessed. So my favorite tip is to add a little bit of the gold highlight to the inner eye and it's really going to open the eyes up, especially when photographed. Thank you so much to my gorgeous model, Margot. I hope you've enjoyed this really easy red carpet look. Please leave any questions or comments below and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.